Actually, you know I watched a video the other day about single knob compressors and how they use the gain and the compression. And I thought, oh, Richard ought to try single knob compression on his... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not trying single knob compression. This is a serious audio point because um, your, mic- your normal mic is good quality, but as soon as you move away from it, it drops down dramatically. So I thought if you if you use some kind of gain and compression uh, thingy with blob, it would um, mm. boost your quiet tones and everyone would be happy. You think I have quiet tones? Um, so it's it's <laughs> fine anyone... here, but as soon as I go right around like here, then it just all becomes terrible quality or super quiet. Um, on Discord, on Discord, it's fine because Discord automatically levels things. Oh. It's when I get your audio back, I end up with really quiet bits. Hmm. So there you Fair are. enough. Single knob so compression. You need, you need to... You compress your knobs, Rich. Compress your knobs. Don't knock it till you've tried it. I've uh, I've been saying that for years, but nobody will listen. <laughs> Anyone at home? Hey, you find me a tutorial, I'll follow it. How's that? Yeah. <laughs> I'm Google. sure Pornhub has a tutorial for compressing knobs. <laughs> Single knobs. Oh well. No. Nah, well, yeah. That's, it, that's it, a whole it, category in itself. Or you can turn up the gain on one knob and compress on the other. Oh. <laughs> How does that? I mean, the okay. gain is nearly up top. So, oh, Ooh. if I do that, how's that? Is that, that a just, bit more bearable? That just sounds like static. Yeah, you're crackling. How's that? That's the same as it was before. So, last time we asked oh, the audience, it's, it's... "Did do you prefer oh. Rose the woman or Rose the dog?" Oh. Uh, <laughs> and the the overwhelming winner, if you ask a Brexiteer, with fifty six percent, was the dog. Hey. Ah, static. Oh. Oh, what was that, sir? I, I literally haven't been touching my controls, so it's not me. Maybe you should touch them more. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't want to point fingers, but it is always you. It, I promise um, you, I have not touched the knobs since you told me not to. Uh, maybe, maybe put it back to how it was before we told yeah. you to touch it in the first place. Yes. Because for the first minute or so, you were fine. Okay, and now how's you- this? that any better like i don't i don't really know I, actually it's it is a little yeah. bit yeah oh you're still yeah. crackling all over the place oh. it's very weird because on like um you... on audition there's like two separate audio waveforms like completely yeah. different ones uh oh that's yeah. weird uh oh uh oh um well anyway do you want just want to sit tight for a moment rich i'll just walk around to yours and come and help you sort it out just just stay there wouldn't put it past you, to be honest. A few moments later. Thanks for popping round. That's the, then no worries. We cut it out. <laughs> um, so that's the... So imp- we could fit in a game of Warhammer while we were here. Yeah. That was the important um, poll news. The, all the polls. But the most the important... The polls voted for the dog. <laughs> yeah. The most... Um, you put your poll in a dog? <laughs> wow. The Rose most... In. Just don't put your dog in a poll. They don't really like that. Well, don't do either. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, they don't like it up them. <laughs> I don't like it up them. <laughs> um, right. There's a new Pokemon. Left. Yes, don't there count. is. I don't want to know this stuff. So, um, write me a message when you finish talking about this. <laughs> I mean, okay. let's be honest, you're not really missing much. Uh, so this this was the uh, the obvious placeholder image that I mentioned last, <laughs> as I referred yeah, the, to uh, it. Yeah. The, the, the really fucking stupidly weird thing i honestly i have to say when it when they first showed the uh, the little model of it it did just look like the exact model of a ditto with a gear on top or a, yeah. a nut like it was a placeholder um but yeah it's like a a, a ditto and a um a clink yeah got together <laughs> exactly <laughs> just warn you i've got my headphone out so type something when you're ready to for me to put it back in all right, all right. <laughs> it's not like it's the, ruining the story to Doctor Who, is it? It's a little bit different. But anyway, he's not here. We can slag him off. <laughs> oh, this is true. <laughs> Although he does listen to the podcast, so he can Shit. complain later on. <laughs> is that going to stop us? Hell no. 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 Uh, oh, uh, th- that Aussie. What a, what a loon. <laughs> what, what a person he is. <laughs> he is uh, quite definitely a human being. Well, I suppose even that's kind of a stretch, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> 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 oh, you're better at this than that. I've got, I've got no practice slagging off Aussie because it's always me and him slagging off you. <laughs> oh, is it? No, no. <laughs> hmm. I don't believe you. Uh, um, but yeah, it's. I think it looks it, stupid. Yeah. 
But that's actually a, a complete um, reverse ferret from what you said in the last uh, the last podcast. But uh, yeah, because well, all, all I, I saw of it was the um, the shadow. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Yeah. Why are you still going on about this bloody Pokemon? This is a Pokemon channel. Get used uh, to it. I was going to say, can we just I, like do I the whole episode without it? EU for, oh, all right, bye then. <laughs> oh, you're back then. <laughs> Oh wow, he's he definitely commits to the whole part, doesn't he? Oh yeah, he's actually he's, he's actually he's dropped actually out dropped out of the Discord chat. Wow. Uh, <laughs> so I'm wondering when he's going to try and rejoin. Yeah, what type was? I think it was Steel. I think there we go. Uh, right, let's get on, let's get on with the podcast. I got to say, I, was, I I admire your commitment to the part. <laughs> Oh, what, leaving the call? Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't actually close the entire thing. Like, I, as soon as I clicked it, I thought, oh, shit, did that cancel it out? And now I'm going to have to wait for one of them to call me back. <laughs> That's like the audio equivalent of slamming the door behind people and storming out after an argument. Wow. I'm an actor. Well, I'm really dreaded so, editing this podcast because I either have to leave in all these noises or painstakingly cut them all out. Yeah, is there... What noises? Should we try and... You're still... You're crackling like a... Is it me? Turkey. I think it is you, Rich, because um, before when I've had the um, the, you know, the individual audio tracks through, I can see whose track it's on. And we uh, were it might be the birds outside, actually. a minute before you joined what? us. No, it's there's, literally There's a load of birds static. outside. No, it's literally oh, static. Oh, is it actually static? Yeah. It's static. It's oh. not... It's... When does it happen? Just intermittently. Yeah. Hmm. It stops now. <laughs> of course it has. Okay. I'm going to sit perfectly still and not move a muscle other than my eyes and my mouth. Were you perhaps That's closer to the microphone? I don't know. Because you are a little bit quieter now. Yeah. And I yeah, I'm a little bit further away. I wonder if you've just got like a body full of static... <laughs> Danger, danger, have voted, as they say. <laughs> a body Even full of static. That sounds like a really good again. prog rock album name. I thought it was like a, body uh, full of static. a hat full of sky. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's the novel, isn't it? Yes. Uh, so yeah, there you are. Pokemon chat is over because we've been held to ransom and made to continue. Uh, <laughs> um, I, into... I've just gone spoiler free with everything. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I haven't watched the latest trailer for Doctor Who, so... I haven't watched any trailer for Doctor Who. Ooh. That's what I'm... I'm literally spoiler-free. All I've like, seen I, it Again, is I admire things. your commitment. Yeah. All I've seen is a thumbnail, and I heard the rumour about Bradley Walsh. What uh, rumour about Bradley Walsh? He's the companion, isn't he? I could confirm or deny that if I knew who Bradley Walsh was. Is that, am I, am I, have I got the wrong name? Yeah, no, it is right. It wasn't in EastEnders. Yeah. Yeah. And oh, because that's definitely a reference I'm going to yeah, yeah. He does a game show now. And everyone bangs on because oh, he's got a laugh. The Chase. The Chase. Yeah. Is that it? The um, Chase. Y'all are assuming no, uh, I watch TV. Yeah, it is The Chase. Which yeah, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't watch Sarah Jane Adventures, did you, Rich? I did not, no. Uh, he was also an evil clown in an episode of that. Oh, oh. I didn't know that. <laughs> a wonderful claim to fame. Yeah, it's the um. Uh, I am evil where... clown number four. Oh. <laughs> no, the episode where Rani came. It was basically uh. an it rip off. Where oh, right. where the Rani came in. Yeah, not the Rani. 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 Oh, there's Rani. A Rani. A Rani. <laughs> Time and a Rani. <laughs> where did he Rani? Away. Who knows? <laughs> away. Run away Run from the hills. A lot of Rani to do. <clears throat> Oh man. Um ba, 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 ba. Yeah, no, yeah, I'm also spoiler free. I pretty much know as much as you, Ozzy, so let's do a spoiler free internet high five. You can you could you Thanks. I would well no, because I figured what you could do is take your audio, <coughs> copy it, paste it over itself, and then move it a couple of <laughs> That's <audio> effort. <laughs> seconds. Why would you so... not why would you not just do that? <laughs> Because it's harder to time an audio high five. I'm not. But that's that's the joke, though. It's an internet uh, high five. There's lag. It's never supposed to be in time. That's the whole point. Of the internet. Well, as 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 
we've established many times we butcher jokes. Not everything has to be done in post. <laughs> it's just like, should we just? As, as we have discovered, Christian hates doing editing. Oh, oh, not yeah. this, not oh, this yeah. shit again. <laughs> uh, tell me I'm wrong. It's never worth I... it. It's never worth it. it. <laughs> But you, you did even admit that since we've been banging on about it, you have done more editing in videos. <laughs> it's under reverse psychology, Under mate. duress. Under duress. Yeah, reverse psychology. You want to prove us wrong. Yeah, it's true. I don't know what the point is anyway. None of you watch or listen to any of the editing I do, so it never makes any difference. <laughs> I listen to it all the ball. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. Digimon's a bit harder because I don't want to have to slog through like two hours worth of videos. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and it is difficult going. Whoa! It's like, uh, what? I mainly watch the episodes where stuff happens. So that's there's about one I or two out of them to, then. Exactly. Yeah. I don't want to relive two hours of training again. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear. Oh. Anyway. Uh. Um... Anywho. Did you go to Grange Hill, Ozzy? Has that happened yet? Oh, yes, I did. Yes. I'm, I'm waiting for my... um. A well, I have got a video that I'm editing, but I'm oh, waiting okay. for the group photo I've got coming. Ah, okay, cool. They've only put half of them on the Facebook page so far. Ah, right. When is so it? Got... Pardon? When is the Grange Hill? Oh, it's been. Oh. It was the... How was it? 15th. Yeah, no, no, it was good. I didn't really talk to many people because me, but... <laughs> I like how that's a legitimate reason. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> because me. Um, I mean, I completely understand and agree, but... You know. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, more well, I'm, I'm, I'm more concerned, Ozzy, about whether you coped with your uh, trip into the big city and did you get scared by the crowds? Oh, yeah, you went to, into London, <laughs> Londonium, didn't you? But it was pretty much like... I think it's just on the outskirts of London, but yeah, I had to go through London. Well, that's <laughs> right. You couldn't go any further in. <sighs> God, no. That would be dangerous. <laughs> yeah, no, no, it was, it was all right. I'm fine with trains anyway. <laughs> I, got a, one, I the would line... be worried if you weren't. <laughs> <laughs> but the, the line for the tube I was meant to get was closed that day. Oh, so no. I ended up getting a bit confused on the tubes and having to do like a round journey around my line. <laughs> oh, did you go? So you were going from like... 12 o'clock to 1 o'clock on the circle line, but you had to go anti-clockwise. So you went what? round the other way instead um, of... <laughs> it's really hard to explain this without like some kind of map in front of us all. <laughs> Even then, it'd be a map of the underground, and that's fucking <laughs> unintelligible. Yeah. <laughs> a bit, a bit, like, a bit yeah, like that Yeah, sentence. sort of like, rather than going straight Finish that joke, through, Christian. I had, to go, I had to go the scenic route through a couple of different lines. The scenic Christian. route through inner city London. Finish that joke. I did yeah. finish the joke. I just mumbled it. it. <laughs> I said a bit it, like a bit like that sentence. Oh, okay. That was not worth the build up. <laughs> no, <we Yeah>. did. <laughs> Feel free uh, to cut that bit out. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny enough to leave in. No. Uh, sake. Oh yeah. Anything yeah. to do with my embarrassment, you'll leave in. No problem at all. It wasn't. Really, it wasn't your embarrassment. You were telling me my joke was crap. This is true. You yeah. <laughs> Does he need to be told by this point, though, Rick? That's oh. The oh. Yeah, otherwise he doesn't become self aware, and God knows not waiting years of programming <laughs> okay. on that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we can't let him become too human. <laughs> exactly. Uh, is this going to be one of these things and where. Then he'll discover we created him in the first place. <laughs> As Dude, a... Don't give the game away. One day, <laughs> one, day one of you will just w lean over to me and whisper, like, Blue Sahara, and I'll suddenly, like, <laughs> enter enter the mode and go to kill the president or something. Yeah. <laughs> Sleeper agent. Yeah. Awaken mode, yeah. Berserker. <laughs> oh, dear. Right. Yeah. Uh, is that enough biscuits? Any other biscuits? Um. I'm poised over the bell. Um, I'm trying what? to think if I have a biscuit or not. I had two I biscuits never. earlier with my cup of tea. Uh, <laughs> God's sake. Um, I never really have biscuits. I don't have much of a life. I've been on holiday. Got back today. Oh, yeah, you oh, okay. went to Park Central, didn't you? Yeah, I did. Ah, Pokemon Central. Nah, Park yeah, Central, different what? one. You you can go into the bag, but the bag the bag catch that, for fuck's sake the bug catching contest. There we are. Uh, <laughs> oh, ah, yeah. national park, yes. Yeah, <laughs> Park Central. Yeah, yeah, it was really nice. Like, um, 
relaxing, did a lot of swimming and a lot of doing nothing. Nice. Got my dad to play Worms on the Switch, which was quite <laughs> fun. Did you just watch? No, I, no, <laughs> like three of us played. <laughs> okay. Well, that's a point. We've got to do two-player Crash Bandicoot this weekend. Yeah. Is it this weekend we're meeting? Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. One moving, one jumping. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. Oh, damn. <laughs> that's going to be fun. We're going to start um, with Crash Bandicoot 1 and then rage quit 10 minutes later and do Crash, Crash Bandicoot 2. That's the plan. Yeah. <laughs> If you can get yeah. over, oh, what's the name of the really stupid Native Fortress. fortress. That's yeah, Native Mother Native Fucking Fortress. Fortress. <laughs> That's where I yeah. gave up. <laughs> yep. Yeah. I'm bad with pulling off parkour type oh. glitches. Oh. If it's a glitch where you've just got to like... It's not a glitch. It's just to it. it's just, it's oh. just a, a, obscene. <laughs> yeah. It's just a bitch of a level. It's a really long level with hardly any checkpoints and... You've got to have like perfect timing when you jump onto these one. I know they're not squares, but you know, quote unquote, one square wide platform that catches on fire every couple of seconds, and, oh, and there's several of them in a row. And okay, it might yeah, not be the one I'm thinking. It's just a dick of a I level. I heard that there was a. You're thinking of the, you're thinking of the ones with the hog roasts going round on a spit, and you've either got to jump over them or ride under them without jumping. And there's one that you've got to get slightly wrong to glitch through it because if you do it properly, you you fail. Uh, yeah, that's the one. That's what yeah. I was thinking of. Yeah. What, Pretel, what are you playing this on? It, it would be Switch, yeah. Do you have it on Switch? Yeah. Nah, oh, I was going to pretend. Oh. The Insane Trilogy. Yeah, because I have it on Switch and still haven't, opened, uh, still haven't played it. <laughs> <laughs> I've got it on so, Switch. Because you know what I'm doing instead? I went back and played through Breath of the Wild again. Okay, cool. no. I would have probably done that. And then I got Pocket Tournament, and then I bought Bomber Crew and um, Hand of Fate 2. Slight tangent, did you know that the composer to the music for Breath of the Wild 2, Christian here, from the future. I have no idea why I said Breath of the Wild 2, and as you can hear, at the time, I didn't notice. Anyway, enjoy. Has remixed the champion, uh, Hoenn champion battle theme for Smash Brothers Ultimate. Wiki Wiki Wow. <laughs> wiki Wiki Wild Wild West. I'm I, sorry. I, two? I, and it's good. There's, there's Breath plans. of the Wild 2? There's plans from what I've heard. What? Oh. When there, Breath of the we, Wild. Uh, like the next thing done in Breath of the Wild style needs to be the next Pokemon game. Oh, I see. Yes. Well, I agree, but I don't think that's going to happen because that won't be it for the little 10 year olds they're aiming at. Yeah, mm. I read. Uh, well, the next the next games after LGBT should be uh, a better standard <laughs> than that, but it might still be kind of Sun Moon style. Um, I would. I can but, see them sticking with the cutesy style mm. over the more. Well, realistic I don't mean style. like they need to have like blood moons coming up where all the Pokemon no, in the court break out their Pokeballs and go fight them again. I mean, like <laughs> just no. Have it but actually I'm, be like, open world. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I still can't like, see them doing that, but yeah, why not? Yeah. I read I read something quite um sad about Game Freak the other day. Um but basically someone made the very good point that it's effectively uh a, like an indie magazine crew who knew a bit of programming made a game and they've been overseeing the port of that same game to successive consoles ever since. There's there's yeah. been kind of no change in direction at all and Really, it kind of feels like someone other than Game Freak needs to make Pokemon games because <laughs> it's they're never going to change mm. because it's it's everyone's you know Junichi Masuda was been from it on the beginning, but he's he's kind of gone off the rails a little bit with his game direction. <laughs> yeah, but then but, the like, per, but then Omori who'd be taken over is Masuda's protege, so he's he just he's just going to do exactly the same because that's kind of the, that's Japanese mm. culture. If, but, the crazy, if someone learns it? from a crazy guy, they're going to be crazy as well. I'm not. Mm. I'm, that's just clear. I'm not saying he's crazy. <laughs> I'm a big fan no, of him. You know what I mean? Though. I love the yeah. Pokemon games. Don't get me wrong, but there's never going to be any change unless Game Freak shut yeah. down. Yeah, but like, think about what were the two most deviant, uh, quote unquote, main series games? Sun and Moon, probably in it. Colosseum and XD. Uh, that's not main series. No. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Main yeah. se- main series yeah. is um, the ones that are released in pairs. Yeah, in the I JRPG style. The XD, or XD the were third. excellent. I'd I'd agree with you in that I'd like them to be main series, but I don't think the general consideration is that they are. Oh, I know they're not main series, but yeah, no, no, they're <laughs> good enough to be, but they're not. You just said they were. <laughs> 
Thank you. <laughs> I have come mad. off of a five day holiday where the most thinky I had to do was what how red do I want my steak? So <laughs> imagine what you I'm know, gonna be like at the end of October. Fucking God, you're gonna be horizontal, just like I think I remember how to breathe. <laughs> I'm going to um uh, a prison for five months <laughs> right so i'm just i'm just saying uh, that you're gonna give some context for that i'm just I'm, just I'm just uh i'm just throwing that out there to throw people off my trail that's all <clears throat> they know it's a prison but they don't know what country a prison's in <laughs> i'm going to be bent over in a turkish prison <laughs> uh anyway doctor who what ones are we on <laughs> We're now on the Idiot's Lantern. Do you know what? I've been trying to keep these down to half an hour so that by the time we finish, it'll be like 40 minutes or so at the most. Nope. And it's now 22 minutes in. <laughs> what can I say except you're welcome? <laughs> uh, we've had a lot of biscuits. We're on uh, the Idiot's Lantern. Yes. Uh, Forgettable. Very. Yeah. Don't really remember much of it other than the face Good thing. Good costumes. Oh, yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe. yeah. The whole Favre storyline was all right. Mm. Where you've got this dickish overruling mm. dad, and then by the end of it, the family turns around and basically says, Nah, it's my house, get the fuck out, sort of. Yeah. Which is quite a big thing for World War II. Yeah. yeah. Well, just after. Yeah. To be honest, um, I only know what happens in this because um, I watched a reaction of it, <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> which is easier than watching the whole episode. It's quicker. Yeah. Um, yes. So I've been doing that every time we've done one of these. And apart because if I hadn't watched that, I'd have no idea what you're talking about, Ozzy. I just remember pe- people's faces getting sucked off, as it were, and <laughs> Mr. Magpie. <laughs> uh, and feed me. See, I didn't remember that. No, 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 it's hungry. <laughs> no, I think she says feed me at some point as well, though. Yeah, but her main thing is hungry. Oh, uh, okay. God, he knows more than us. Go. <laughs> I take it you like it. It ain't no it? Mr. Sweet. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Um, Wow, I mean, like, when Doctor Who's good, it is really, really good. But when it is bad, my God, is it diabolical. (laughs) Uh, Like, there's no, like, there are, like, middling episodes, but when they're bad, they are really bad. Well, there's no point mooning over it. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Oh, you can't see the wood for the forest. (laughs) Uh, God, I'd completely forgotten, blanked from my memory, that one was. (laughs) Coincidentally, in the same series. Um... Mm. Anyway, do we, do we have anything to say about the Edith Lantern really at all? Nah. Well, let's move on to the, the probably a much better set of episodes, but, but after rating it, obviously. Edith Lantern, I'd give it a six, probably. <sighs> Five, six-ish. It's tricky for me because I would say it's just average. I haven't remembered it. So I would say five, but five always seems like a low, like you don't like it. Whereas really it's just average. Yeah. So I yeah. Well, Muswell I'll, Hill. I'll say five. I. <laughs> well, I, I even when I, I remember, all I remember is that I'd never really gelled with this one. Yeah. You know, well, mm, even yeah. when I was a kid, you weren't like, exactly not, glued to your screen, it, were you? Yeah, it's not one that I'd rewatch, and I no. don't think it's one that I've. It's. I was the sort of kid that if Doctor Who was being repeated on BBC Three, I would watch it hands down. Yeah. However, I think with this is one of those episodes where I would actually switch over. Yeah. He's sort of like, oh, I really can't be bothered for that again. There's another two in this set that I would do that to. Now, you see, well. one of them <laughs> I might agree with you, but one of them is highly underrated. Well, we'll talk about that. <laughs> only, only gets ruined by the end. Yeah, we'll it's talk about that in a minute. It's um... a piece that we'll eventually get to. <laughs> I so... love it. I love it. Oh, you monster. You monster. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, put, I'll put a little fanfare in there. <laughs> right. Right. So moving on. Uh, the impossible planet. Oh yeah, yeah, I didn't, I didn't rate it, but yeah, I'll go with the oh, yeah. four or five ish. Ooh. Yeah. Impossible planet and the Satan pit. These were good ones. Holy moly. Quite that's possibly the highlights of series two. I, yep, that's a fair um, estimation, definitely. The end the end set is very good. Girl of the Fireplace is very good. Mm. I think there's like three peaks. Definitely. Um, I think the first part of it was a little bit just set up. Mm. But if it wasn't for the second... Ah. The second half, definitely. It's interesting you say that, Maybe. because... 
I like that. I, I love it as a two-parter. But I, I remember thinking in 2006 when I watched this, after, when The Impossible Planet finished, I thought, how the hell are they going to wrap this up in any way that is satisfying? Because <laughs> it's the setup, I think, is so good. And the, the end, the, um... the cliffhanger is incredible. And then it just kind of fizzles out. <laughs> what was the cliffhanger? Yeah. The pit is open and I am free. And the camera comes up out of the pit. Oh, yeah. To reveal <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Which, in a way, is even more terrifying. I suppose. To reveal the Doctor Who surfboard. <laughs> uh, your silver Doctor guy Who on a surfboard. What? Oh. Yeah. Um, so, I remember watching the Doctor Who Confidential of this one, where they were talking about all the imagery they used. So, they, they always had a load of vents on the floor ste- spewing up smoke to kind of give the kind of the hell imagery. Yeah. Oh, um, okay. There's a sound effect they use at some point, which was taken from the original Doom game. Oh, so a chainsaw? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> no, the original Doom, Doom game. The 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 re- yeah Doom. Oh, the D-O-O-N. game Doom. Doom. Oh, yeah. 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 I thought you meant like... there was like a film called the Doom game. <laughs> <laughs> there, there is like a film Doom called Doom, game. but we don't talk about it. Yeah. No. Okay. But from the, um, the game in, Doom. Okay. In the uh, 2016 Doom, the main theme was mainly you played by a chainsaw. <laughs> right. <laughs> As in, like, they sampled the chainsaw and then played yeah, it. Remixed thing. it. That's clever. Yeah. Like Doctor Which Who is... and its piano wires. Oh. Yeah. And its keys. <laughs> <laughs> Quite. Yeah. Um, yeah, the, the suspense that's built up in The Impossible Planet is... Gold. my my type of suspense <laughs> so this is why i love this so much because okay. it's like will... um can I finish? it's like um not just like a jump scare or something scary is lurking in the background it's like the kind of thing that it would happen to someone and they go oh did i just hear that and r- life kind of carries on like the door is yeah. saying he is awake and things like that okay yeah 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 okay the and toby stuff i think i did like closed door three what? <laughs> well, I think I'm remembering that I didn't like Woody Ood. Honestly, I say I really? never gelled with the Ood. No! I was never a big a fan odd? of them. Pardon? Did you find them a bit odd? Uh, Ooh, an, an odd Ood. 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 <laughs> no, I don't know what it... I don't know what it is about be... them, really. They're meant to be scary, and I never really found them scary. I found them a bit silly. I don't think they were meant to be scary. I think they're meant to be a bit unsettling. Yeah, they just look so kind of, kind like of disgusting because they look like they're vomiting down themselves all the time. Oh. Well, I'm, I'm not a squeamish person, so I never really found them. No. Anybody who says they're not squeamish just haven't found the right thing yet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm not squeamish when it comes to, like, gooey stuff. Or, like, meaty stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but... <laughs> Poor choice of words. <laughs> <laughs> I never choose my words carefully. Clearly. Uh, yeah, like, even even in the future Ood-centric episode, not like their ca- cameos now and then when <laughs> David Tennant was going out, but mm. the, the episode next, not next series, the series after, where you're meant to feel really sorry for Planet him. Planet of the Ood. Yeah. I thought I, another one I find a bit boring, to be honest. You just you thought well, they deserved we'll get it. To that. <laughs> no, I just it's just made me laugh. It's like you know you meant to feel this emotional connection, but I didn't. They're just a bunch of fucking white slapheads. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I I don't know what it is exactly. I just never found the Ud interesting. Mm, fair enough. <laughs> well, you can insult Captain Darling when we get to that. <laughs> yeah. Um. But yeah, the characterizations were excellent. It was yes. good pacing. Yeah, the, no. the sets were gorgeous. Yeah. yeah. Like, you really got a sense of claustrophobia and the hell. They like I love a good space spaceship Hulk. set. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I love a good spaceship. And I do like how they keep going back to that sort of era with like the spacesuits and everything. Yeah. So this is a very sort of rust. I, the I always dark just future assumed of the that the Doctor nicked his spacesuit from the time on. That's what I thought as well. And he always did. kept it. Yeah. yeah. It's just like... A lot because of human only... exploration was done at that point. So. Yeah. Yeah. But it's only him that ever seems to have that spacesuit. <laughs> mm. Reminds him of 
a great time he has. <laughs> <laughs> Reminds him of the time he beat the devil. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what, so what, what do we think of a sci-fi show having literally the devil himself? Oh, it's hell of a hell of a ballsy move, isn't it? <laughs> I was never really fussed either way. I saw it I mean, as... Just because it's a giant of... demonic devil monster doesn't mean it's the devil. <laughs> Didn't they say it was meant to be? Though? It's yeah, yeah. It's meant to be like he's uh, got his telepathy going on, basically, and he uh, hmm. he's, he's, the, he's the, the reality behind the myth trapped there yeah, since the dawn that, of time. Just because the devil's real doesn't mean Christianity is right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I find that very you offensive. <laughs> I mean, even for like 2006, the CGI on him was really good. It was yeah. pretty good, actually. Yeah, no, yeah. Um, although, yeah, because the reason, because it kind of, I feel like it was a bit cliched to have it actually be like your red horny bloke. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, I was, I was expecting more like a kind of a, you know, I probably maybe wasn't thinking these exact words in two thousand and six, but maybe like a great intelligence type thing, or you know, some kind of entity, like, or or like a Fenwick yeah. or something like that. I think yeah. it would be quite interesting if it was just like but a little then- girl. But then <laughs> what, wasn't the point that the horny bloke was the body and that his consciousness essence had gone into Toby? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. But he was still... It came but from a horny bloke. He still well. shouldn't have looked like a horny bloke. Yeah, I'll, I'll agree <laughs> with you on that. He could have looked <laughs> demonic in a way, but didn't have to be red, horny. All he was missing was the pitchfork, basically. <laughs> yeah. But he was chained up, so maybe they confiscated his pitchfork. Oh, yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe they melted it down to make the cuffs. Uh, <laughs> new mythology yeah. confirmed. <laughs> yeah, I just always like the idea of the um, the devil being a, like a small child or something like that because kids are the devil. So yeah, <laughs> <laughs> my friend is nodding at me in agreement. <laughs> <laughs> it's like um, yeah, because you think of, like the uni- If you think of the universe, it, we're still quite like in the early stages of the universe because we got tens of hundreds of billions of years of like emptiness when everything stops burning. So yeah. if you've got some primordial entity, they would still be quite young. Yeah. If you want to physics it up, and who doesn't? <laughs> I just love. I just love the concept of like an all-powerful being like the Doctor getting thrown around the room just by a little girl moving a finger. <laughs> <laughs> See, to me, that's just A, cool, and B, like, terrifying. Like Sabrina from Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. Ah. <laughs> the only good or, series um, of Pokemon was abs- the first series. Absolutely. <laughs> so you must be a photographer. Wait a second. It's not absolutely. X and Y was incredible. I haven't, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't, I haven't. Well, there. <laughs> I didn't really see anything beyond that. I was, I was too traumatised by everything after the series <laughs> one to want to get to X and Y. X and Y is more like a shounen anime. It's uh, it's it's much better. Oh, really? Yeah. Hmm. They actually but seem to understand. The sub. Yeah, I haven't seen the I haven't seen the dub. Um, I've I attempted the dub and I can I can continue it. <laughs> Has there ever been a time where the dub is better than the sub? For nostalgia reasons, yeah. Yeah. So I don't. I don't yeah. think. I don't think I'd watch. I, I don't think I'd watch the original Pokemon original series. But I'd. I'd, no. I'd yeah. I happily watched the the dub when it was on Twitch a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> I've heard like big anime fans saying that there are some animes that are, com- like, equal to their dub and sub. Yeah. Yeah. Like, what is Dragon Ball? I think like a lot. Yeah, of Dragon people... Ball's not too bad. Yeah. I've never seen an episode of Dragon Ball in my life. Dragon Ball yeah. is <laughs> amazing. <laughs> And now my friend is glaring at me. If you <laughs> seriously, if if you've seen Dragon Ball Z, it's not that. Nope. It's an adventure series. It's really good. And I have never seen an episode of Goku. And it's really funny. It's really funny, Dragon Ball. I was surprised. You, you Number have two never seen you. anything with a Super Saiyan in it. <laughs> I haven't. No, I've seen clips. Yeah. But <laughs> nope. Which yeah. is strange, least, I feel like I would really enjoy least, it. Watch the abridged series. <laughs> because it gives you everything you need to know in a fun way. Are the characterizations kind of the same? <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I, I would honestly say, like, most, most people in the Western world watch Dragon Ball Z first because that's what we got over here. 
and then they yeah. they dubbed Dragon Ball afterwards, which is really weird because you get like the voices obviously change throughout the run of Dragon Ball Z. So when you start mm. watching at Dragon Ball, they're the end voices, and then they suddenly change to the beginning voices when you get to Dragon Ball. <laughs> anyway, oh that's um, weird. Yeah, but um. When I was watching through, it struck me on the first episode of Dragon Ball Z that if I'd seen this without seeing Dragon Ball first, I would have no idea what the hell was going on. It literally just carries on as if nothing's yeah. happened. It's the same oh. series, basically. They just changed the name halfway through. Just with, and they even, didn't really even change the name. They just added Z to the yeah. end. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. So start with Dragon Ball, <laughs> episode think... one, when Goku's a 12-year-old. <laughs> Do you think they were attempting to write Dragon Ball 2, but they got it the wrong way around? <laughs> yeah. It's a funny joke, but in point of fact... <laughs> no, I know, I know. He wanted to finish it, he was fed up with it, so he put Z on yeah, the end because it was meant to be the last. I know. I'm, I'm explaining it for everyone else, Ozzy. <laughs> I know. I'm enjoying the joke. Oh. <sighs> Joking. I laugh at myself, who can I laugh Joking at? on my podcast. Normally, Your podcast. us three are meant to be the jokes. Speak <laughs> uh, for yourself. Oh. We never stopped. <laughs> well, um... That's a doctor. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so Impossible Planet Satan Pit. Good episodes. Yes. I kind of want to yeah. talk, carry yeah. on talking about them because we haven't really got time to go into uh, the next episode mm. r- right now. Uh, oh, good God, no, we don't. No, um... What? what? The, the best episode of the series? <laughs> oh, shut up. <laughs> it needs, which it actually, if you look on Wikipedia, has an audience rating of 6.66, which is ironic considering the topic of the current <laughs> episode. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, no, that, that that episode needs a lot more discussion than we can fit that, into <laughs> that 10 one, minutes. That one could be held Special in anticipation. Yeah. <laughs> Tremble Ooh. with anticipation. Next time, bye. (laughs) (laughs) Well. Well. I'm I'm waiting. Patient. There we go. (laughs) Oh, I'm all a quiver on the floor. Hello, it's Christian again, back from the future. At this point, the call randomly dropped out. Discord still worked, but the call wouldn't start again. Um, And then in a few moments, it just started again (laughs) without any intervention. And that's where we join our protagonists. Ah. Aha, we're back. That just randomly started again. Join? I was was about to say, can someone else try starting it? Did anyone do that? Nope. Okay, that's that's really weird. The beast was unhappy. (laughs) It just just Um. knew... When to cut it after a good punchline. That's, that's what, like, I thought that mm. after I said next time bye, that we were just going to end it then. It's like, wait, what? I was joking. Is Discord becoming sentient? I, th- <laughs> <laughs> I thought it, I got it the after the... got destroyed with Toby. For, for, for the purposes of the tape, um, I made the joke, Ozzy said next time bye, and then Discord randomly crashed. <laughs> yeah. It didn't crash, it just, the call didn't work. And it just ra- that's it, crashing. It just suddenly came back again. Yeah, that's um, that's a bit weird, isn't it? That, I mean, you were talking earlier about you know my program. Oh no! Hello. What the devil is going on? I don't know. Ozzy, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Let's just Should rate we end it now. Let's rate this bloody well. episode <laughs> and right, finish. Um, <laughs> okay, solid eight, maybe nine. Uh. Solid nine I'd for me. Eight. I'd go with the eight. Yeah. If I gave, if I was just doing Impossible Planet, I'd give it a ten. But um, yeah. like, like I said, I, I had no idea how they were going to give a good payoff, <laughs> and I wasn't satisfied with it when it came. <laughs> so a nine. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. All right. Eight. <clears throat> yeah. Eight nine. That's pretty good. Cool. Um. So, so <clears throat> next... we're having problems with <laughs> Discord. Discord is uh, the beast is infecting us, so I think we need to go before it kills it's, us all. It's yeah. Yes. Doesn't like us slagging it. Oh, now that we've not rated it a 10, what's going to happen? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I'm right behind you. <laughs> oh, I literally just got to shove it down my spine when you said that. <laughs> you better not have looked around. <laughs> Don't look around, Toby. I'm standing right behind you. Oh, oh, my I'm name's not Toby. Don't look. <laughs> oh, oh, sorry. Wrong, wrong person. <laughs> I must be in the wrong house. Oh, you're... <laughs> You're not terrible. Oh shit, I had a biscuit about this. The devil oh, yeah. was voiced by Gabriel Wolf, who voiced Sutek in uh, The Pyramids of Mars. Oh, really? So that ties together nicely. Oh. 
Yes, and does. on that bombshell, it's time to end. It, yes, it, it might is. Have to so be, thank, yeah. thanks for listening to the podcast that's impossible to listen to, which should have been at the start. But impossible. Keep on it's impossible to record. <laughs> 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 and on that bombshell. All right. Next time, bye. Thank you.